Welcome to Kings of Screams, horror fans. I'm your Friday host, Tyler Dean. Which was Monday, but now it's now it's Friday. Today we're going to jump right into the review. I don't really remember what this week's theme was. However, I did do the movie Splice. I saw it last Friday. Now Splice, if you didn't already know, is about two brilliant scientists who decide to go against Mother Nature and create a creature using human DNA and other DNA, like plants and rabbits and stuff like that. Basically, what you come up with in the end is not a horror movie, but a sci-fi drama. Some parts of it can be horrific. However, this film, the commercials for this film were extremely deceiving, as well as advertisements and polls on Facebook. So even though this movie was a sci-fi drama, we'll go ahead and review it anyways. Many things I liked about this film were that even though it wasn't necessarily a horror film, it was still kind of original, despite also being a species film, where it's like, you know, a species is created that's not supposed to be there, and ensuing chaos, you know, occurs. This movie is basically about the two scientists and how they come to raise the um, experiment, which we'll call Dren, because that's the name. It, it just shows what would happen, uh, basically, as they kind of hide it from everyone else, and they're teaching it how to uh, read, and, and it doesn't really speak, but, you know, how it learns and understands uh, human emotions and words. There is no gore or blood in this film. The only scene with blood doesn't even include um, the experiment Dren, but it's still kind of an adventure, despite despite not having any of the things that a horror movie usually uh, has. Many people would say that this makes it an original horror that many people crave, but honestly, there's nothing really original about it. You kind of can already tell what's going to happen and, and who's going to do what before it even happens. It's just, it's kind of a formula that's been done before. Several things I did not like about the film um, was that, you know, especially I was deceived into thinking it was a horror movie. It, it really isn't at all. At no point was I scared, maybe a little bit kind of curious about what was going to happen since this movie was about, you know, an experiment and like what it was going to do, like what if we actually tried to teach it and it actually wanted to learn. I think, I think it achieved something in me walking out of the theater not really knowing how I felt because I didn't hate the movie, I still really enjoyed it despite it not really uh, being all bloody and everything like that because not a, hor a horror film doesn't have to have gore and blood and everything. But in terms of originality and it being a horror movie, it didn't really affect me that much. Um, and it, and I, I just kind of felt cheated um, a little bit. I do recommend seeing this movie, although I, I seem to have more negative things to say about this movie than positive things. This movie was good, first of all. It is a sci-fi drama. It's not a horror. Um, it was good. I do recommend seeing it. I recommend seeing it in theaters, and I recommend seeing it with your friends. And if you can see it at like a cheap theater, go ahead and do that. Um, it's not a terrible movie by any means, it's just not really a horror movie. So go ahead, check that out. Um, if I had to rate this movie, probably give it um, like a, a 3 out of 5. Just because, you know, it was enjoyable, but you have to see it with your friends. Because there's so many moments where it's just like, what the heck is going on? That is ridiculous. It's, it's, it's neat, you know, it's just, it's, it's just a lot more WTF moments than, ah, yes, she deserved to die moments. So, check it out, and, yeah. This is Bonus Side of Horror. See you guys.